Hello guys, welcome back to Yellow Nap. For today's video, we are going to show you how to edit a Shopify order confirmation email. So if you're interested, let's start our tutorial. So first thing that we need to do here is we need to go to Shopify.com and log in into your account. Now once you've done that, the next thing that we need to do here is access our settings. So go ahead and click on your settings at the bottom left. Now, I just I just want to give you a, a disclaimer here. There are multiple ways on editing the confirmation email on Shopify. So we have the way wherein we'll be able to use an application which give us advanced ways to edit our emails or our email templates. Where, well, in this case, I'll be showing you the manual way or the basic way of editing is what. Well. So you might need to have a, a a small understanding on how some html tags or what is html in general for you to be able to edit this one but for now let's go ahead and go to straight to it now in here what we need to look for is the notification section so at the bottom section here we have our notification so let's go ahead and click on it and open it up now once you're in here for you to uh, basically send email notifications, you first have to verify the email or the indicated email address here. So you might need to verify this one. So there's going to be a button here that says send verification email and you should be able to receive an email at an email wherein you just need to click on the button to verify that email and you are now ready to use the notification section. Now, once you've done that, the next thing you wanna do is scroll down a bit here. We have our order section. So there's a lot of email templates here that we could change, like for example, the order confirmation itself. They also have the order edited, order invoice, order canceled notification as well. So you could go ahead and click on it, but before we go into it, we have the customized email, customized email template section. Now in this case, the customized email template section is going to be uh, the look and feel of all the emails or email notifications that we have for our store. Now in this case, if you want to basically make sure that all the emails are uh, or the that or the email notifications has like a very specific look or color to use well you could go ahead and click on customize email templates now in this case you could go ahead and add a logo if you want that you can even change the logo size now we also have the option to change the accent colors for our buttons here or our text here so for example if you click on this one you could change this to maybe red if you want to and from there you should be able to change your colors now in here, so save to update your preview. For example, we want to go ahead and click on save. And from here, we will be able to change the colors itself. Now, if you want to go back, just click on the arrow at the top left here, and we should be back into this page. Now, since we want to edit our order confirmation, let's go ahead and click on order confirmation, and we should be able to see the confirmation. So we have the email and SMS. Now for SMS, this is going to be basic. This is going to be a text only option so it's going to be the link as well as the thank you for your purchase now for emo it is going to be quite complicated because you need to at least a small amount of understanding on what html is going to look like so for example let's go ahead and click on the edit code at the top right here and from here it's going to look like uh complicated but no worries it's actually pretty easy to edit now, if you want to preview your order or your current edit here, like for example, we want to change this. So instead of think, uh, saying thank you for your purchase, we only want to say thank you. But for now, let's just hit on preview here so that I'll be able to show you. So currently, it's going to say thank you for your purchase. So when we, we click on the X here and change this one to thank you only. So let's go ahead and click on save at the top right. From here, click on preview. And as you can see, it's only going to say thank you. Now from here on, you could go ahead and press on Control Z to revert your changes on your template here and just hit and save at the top right again. Now again, if you click on preview here, you should be able to see an overview. Like for example, if you want to change the section here that says we're getting your order ready to be shipped, we will notify you when it has been set. So if you want to change that, you could go ahead and highlight that text here. So let's go ahead and highlight it and copy it. And from here, click on the X button at the top right. And from here, we want to make sure that you select this section here. Press on Control F 
and just press on Control V to paste your text. And from here, you should be able to see the specific section wherein we need to edit that. Now, in this case, maybe we want to change this one. So we're getting your order ready to be shipped. So if you want to reduce this one or basically change it to another wording, whatever you want, you could go ahead and change that. And from here, we could go ahead and click on preview. And as you can see, it now has been changed. Now, I do have to warn you, there are certain things that you won't be able to change or you shouldn't change here. Like for the uh, example here, they have and if and case and the if statements here. So the if statements here are going to be really important. So if you, you are not sure on what to edit, so don't change anything. Now, except for the text itself that you see here that is inside this text here, you could go ahead and change this text here but do not change this sections here it's going to be really important just to make sure that you won't be messing up some of the tags or the logic of the code itself now from here once you change your change uh, once you've updated all your changes and hit on save at the top right you should be good and that's about it so hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to ELN app thank you for watching